shuffling going on backstage, and I'd like to welcome Brighton from Aquabyte. Thank you. Hi, my name is Brayton Shank. I'm the CEO and founder of Aquablight, and we're one of the few companies taking a Silicon Valley approach to applying computer vision and machine learning to aquaculture. Um, we get the clicker. So a bit about myself. So I am a machine learning researcher. I studied machine learning at Princeton and started a number of machine learning startups. My last company, we were using computer vision algorithms to diagnose cancer tissue. So normally a doctor looks under the microscope, looks at the cells. We could do uh, build an algorithm that analyzes the, the cells and with, uh, diagnose cancer with higher accuracy than, than a doctor. Basically at the beginning, of last year, I had the opportunity to incubate a new company at a US VC firm and became very interested in aquaculture. Now the company is, is focused on building uh, initially biomass and sea lice counting, initially targeted towards Norwegian and Chilean net pen salmon aquaculture. And we built a team in San Francisco of computer vision, machine learning researchers, software engineers, as well as a team in Norway that's going out to the farms to deploy the technology. That's what a bit about what makes us unique is the Silicon Valley and Norway connection. Uh, just a bit about um, machine learning. So we've seen it revolutionize a number of industries, uh, starting with autonomous vehicles, drones, social media. We've seen this go into other areas such as agriculture, where now they're using machine learning for precision farming. And naturally, you would have similar things in aquaculture. So we're thinking about how, how can we determine the size of the fish swimming in the pen? How can we determine the, the visual health of the fish in terms of the number of sea lice, uh, in terms of how hungry the fish is, the appetite, how much we should feed the fish? And so th these are things we're thinking about at Aquabyte. And our first product is really around uh, biomass estimation and sea lice counting. So just a, a brief background on machine learning. It works a bit differently than regular programming. So. We, we take footage from the pen. We actually have stereo cameras underwater that record the fish swimming around. We get expert annotators, so fish farmers to come in, help us identify the fish, and over time train the algorithm to be able to learn to identify the fish on their own. And in this case, I identify the depth of the, each object in the frame to get a sense of scale, as well as segment each of the fish and eventually get an estimate of the volume and weight of the fish. And over time, it gets more and more accurate in terms of the, the biomass distribution, which is very useful for both feeding and determining how much a uh, farmer can sell. As I mentioned, our, our first product is really around biomass and sea lice counting. In this case, we're also able to identify each of the sea lice in the pen and be able to determine uh, and classify each of the sea lice uh, to get an accurate count. Over time, our platform will include other types of algorithms in terms of determining the appetite of a fish, in terms of pellet counts, behavioral detection, being able to uniquely identify each individual in a pen and be able to do that on the, the same hardware. Uh, the idea is eventually uh, to be able to use this data for feed optimization, which is, uh, I suppose, especially relevant for this conference. So if you could determine the size of the fish over time, its growth, how much was fed, as well as the environmental conditions, we can start to use this to optimize the feeding of the fish. And especially for feed manufacturers, when they sell feed, they can give their customers feeding algorithms to tell them how to optimally use and, and feed the fish. And this is, what we're, this is what we're working towards. In terms of, uh, I'll skip over the product details, but essentially it's very easy, it leverages the existing infrastructure at the farm using the feeding cameras, so no extra cage furniture in the pen, and a simple computer at the bar to be able to compute all the computer vision algorithm. In terms of what we're providing, it's a complete solution uh, for the farmer, and really, uh, unlike other products, the algorithms get better over time, and so as the company progresses, you get more and more value out of using the product. And in terms of um, what we're looking to provide, it's not just for the farmers, it's for feed manufacturers to be able to determine how to optimally feed the fish, how to optimize the formulation of the feed, and to be able to sell other products 
in conjunction with the feed, such as risk management products, insurance based off the data that's coming off the farm, as well as other services, for the farmers to optimize their production and for the sales organization to be able to optimize their sales and to be able to pre-sell uh, their, their fish. So in terms of uh, what we're working on, we're really excited to be here. Uh, I, I travel between San Francisco and Norway every month. Uh, I was just uh, telling a couple of folks here, we arrived 4 a.m. in Svanger yesterday because we came directly from the farm and looking to have general availability later this year. Thank you. Thank you very much, Robert.